Hello, Courtney. How are you? Thank you welcome for having me. Welcome to the madness. <laughs> I'm so excited to get into your wardrobe. Oh, well, welcome. Dive straight in. This is like the real deal because we're backstage at your breakfast show. Yes, um, dressing room. But you brought some of your your own little bits. I brought as well. some bits as well because I kind of feel. Um, staple pieces that I kind of have in my wardrobe that are there over years and years and if we did this in 20 years time you'd still probably find it here. Yeah well because so. th I was gonna say and like I think your wardrobe has a bit of a split personality and I mean that in the best possible way. Yeah yeah yeah. Because I feel like. Very much like myself. <laughs> I feel like all of Judy Laura is like a bit rock and roll, yeah, a bit yeah, cooler. Yeah. Then like Telly Laura is very vibrant. She's a bit more showbiz. Yeah she's yeah. fun and like yeah. power dressing I think. Yeah. yeah. This to me is like the epitome of you. I love Charlotte Simone. I have a lot of coats yeah. from Charlotte. Um, and she does faux now as well, because I just wear faux fur. Um, and I just feel like there's, like I could be wearing literally a black bag or a tracksuit and I'll just throw this on and I will feel fabulous. Yes. Um, I do think it's like a little mixture of like Carrie Bradshaw slash Pat Butcher. Um, <laughs> in the best but possible way. in the best way. way. Like they're a love child. And um, she just makes these brilliant pieces and I've got quite a few of them, but I just, I feel great. I love a coat. I love these. I've seen these on you a lot. And you love her. Like you were flare, kind of doing a flare. Star. Before Daisy Jones. <laughs> you were. But that was it. When the skinny jeans were in, you still wore flares. I love, do you know what? I love a flare. And these are, these are from free people. And I love free people. Yes. Um, when I was pregnant, I didn't buy any maternity because I just refused to buy stuff my wardrobe. Same. Go, Same. So these were just normal trousers I had, but they're low rise and stretchy. So I had these on when I was like nine months pregnant. So your, your maternity belly. advice is just, just go just, low rise. Just find clothes that you've already <laughs> got. So like I've actually got these in loads of, I've got them in like loads of different colors. They're really comfortable. Um, and I kind of wear them like a tracksuit sometimes. Yeah. But, but fashionable. I think, it, again, it's just you. I feel like, I also feel like there's a lot of music references in what you wear and you're off duty. Like I know yeah. obviously you well, come from that background. Yeah, maybe, and just I guess different music events I've gone to. I love one of my favorite films is like Almost Famous. Yes, okay, so it's in Penny Lane. Oh, so uh -oh. I feel this is very that um, era, and even like a big fan recently of um, like Daisy Jones and the Six. Yes, but, um, this is a brand I've actually worn a lot of their <gasps> stuff. And um, how good is this? The Hippie Shake. This is their new stuff they've just sent. But I wore um, for one of Love Island's After Sun. I wore like this jumpsuit. And I remember the girls messaged me, they're only small business saying, we've sold out of this brown jumpsuit that you've worn. And I was like, oh, that's quite cool. I, think I actually fun. remember those MTV days as well when you were doing lots of interviews and you used yeah. to wear like, I didn't even know what it's called. It was like a little... Questionable is what it's called. <laughs> I loved that though, because I, that was when I first started being yeah, aware yeah. of you and you yeah. used to wear like rocker t-shirts, yeah. cut off, I know, denim yeah. skirts. I know, Beyond Retro was my friend. <laughs> I mean, we're, we've definitely amplified. We've definitely grown up a little bit since then. But, but still also, you. Well, I was on telly five days a week and I, again, I've always been of that mindset of borrowing clothes, not buying different outfits constantly. So I would always just wear a different band t-shirt that I had with like the same Levi's vintage skirt. Speaking of, you know, re-wearing and repurposing, this bad boy, oh, I think everybody's is... going to recognise this. This is, I, I love this, um, Joshua Kane, who's a very good friend of mine, um, a designer. Incredible designer. He's, I'd seen this from a few years ago and no one really worn it. It was in an older collection. I just had spotted it. And then he ended up making one for me because it was it was a different, it was, it was a love heart, but it wasn't done the same way to my body shape. So he made one for me. So it fitted like a glove. For the final of the first series that I hosted, I wore it with flares. Yes. Which were these. And then, um, and I also think, you know, coming from a show like that, which in, in many ways, you know, has connotations of fast fashion, I'm always trying to, even small little things, even with fast fashion brands, it's like, what can you do to make it a little bit better? And it reminded me of, do you remember Marge Simpson in The Simpsons had this one the Chanel suit that, that she just kept re-wearing and repurposing? This, this is it. Oh my so God. I just, um, we just cut them into little shorts. Um, so I wore the full outfit for the final. And then um, the last series I did last summer, I wore it for the very first coupling up, the two of them together yes. like this. I'm sure you'll put that into a little box as a little kind well, of keepsake. I, yeah, well, I reckon that's archived now with yeah. Joshua. So um, yeah, so hopefully it's got a little bit of history in it. Yeah. Um, I'm, really, I'm really proud of that because I wore that. It was a really difficult time. I remember filming that and I remember just thinking, like, I didn't think about what I was wearing. I want because yeah. I have so much stuff going on in my head. The last thing I wanted to worry about was what I was wearing. Let's have a little look as then as well. Okay. Yes. You were talking about your maternity style a minute ago. We didn't do maternity, did we? We didn't. Like, that is the least maternity outfit I've ever seen. It's 
stunning. What I, show was it you wore this on? I wore it on Celeb Juice. I filmed Celeb Juice on Wednesday. I had a baby on the Saturday. I went to labor on Saturday. Like so literally a few days later. Stress. I literally <gasps> just pulled it over. The, and I had a, I had a bump. Yeah. But you were neat as well. Well, it was, it was a bump because I remember because I was doing Celeb Juice at the time and it was, we didn't have live audiences because it was like lockdown. Oh, it was ish. coming out of lockdown. Yeah. So people wouldn't really see because I was like sitting at a desk. And I remember I got up to walk to the loo and who was it on the other team just went, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, because you don't really see it. And then I turned yeah. and then it was like massive. This is um, a Br British design duo, isn't it? Natalie and Alana. Yeah, I've worn a lot of their stuff. I love, I love it. And they'd make a lot of stuff to measure as well, but they're just really cool, fun, fun bits and pieces. And there's always like that kind of 70s, 60s. Yeah, you do a lot of 70s, 60s references, I, I do, feel. I do like, I do Do you like have a style practice. icon? Um, kind of a lot of, I, you know, I get, I don't dress like my friends, but I love, like a lot of my friends will wear stuff like, I like that, I like that, and find your own kind of, um, your own space within that. You mentioned Kate Hudson, love Kate Hudson, mm. love Kate Moss, anyone called Kate. Um, <laughs> but I guess maybe going back to that film uh, of Almost Famous. Yes. And that era, then like Charlie's Angels. Yeah. These kind of really strong female that were coming Actually, in. Actually, there's like, we didn't even look at this. But I live in this. This is when I'm wearing this, you know, I'm getting shit done. Um, <laughs> I've got these in many colors. Oh, do you? Yeah, do you have it in the Donna white? Ida. So I've got it, oh, not the white, not with the toddler. Oh, good point. Uh, yeah, fair, fair. <laughs> but I, I wear this like just around the house and doing stuff. It's a full outfit in one. You can kind of be crawling around on the floor. And also I look, and I, I feel like you I look good in You feel put together. I, I live in jumpsuits. Like it's so comfortable. You have to get naked on the toilet, but. I've had that on the airplane on the way over, not it's fun. Like, but. These are open right now, I'm fully naked. <laughs> sitting on the seat. Let's move on to sexy oh Laura, God. because these <laughs> I, So ridiculous. I definitely, when I see a platform, I think of you. Like, look, I mean, you know what? I'm quite tall as it is, but you like, are. absolutely. This is going out, Laura. This is not at home, Laura. Yeah, this is very much. This is probably working on a TV show, sitting down or standing in one place. I'm not or just red carpet. Red carpet. And also, I, I find platforms comfier. They are. It's like, like I'm a wearing little today, I'm just wearing these little ones, and these are actually little feckers. <laughs> yeah, they're way really more yeah. because your your foot is nearer the floor. Yeah. Um, but these are like, I mean, I, I mean, between this ones. dress and these, it's a bit, it's getting it's a bondage bit night, isn't it? bondage night. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah. This, where did it go? Oh, you wore that to the bachelor's after party. Wore that to the after party. Yeah, that was fun. Very sheer, a little bit sheer, sheer. than normal, but like. She was having fun. Yes. My mum was out. This, this, is, this is, like we said, sexy Laura. Mom's out. Yeah. Oh, I love Spring Cruz. Another, you love supporting a few Irish, don't you? Irish people are great. <laughs> I do. Irish people are great. This is incredible. It's a piece of art. It's honestly, I, I saw this. Light. It's surprisingly I think on the night, I wore this to the British Fashion Awards, and I think, uh, I mean, Beyonce's wore them, so you know it's good. Exactly. It looked like I was wearing this hard metal, I sat down, I ate food, it was really comfortable. It's it doesn't look like it should be comfortable. And he just, for a man, he knows, for a gay man, he knows women's <laughs> bodies really well. Really yeah, well. Really he, well. He's an incredible stylist. Yeah. Do you have then a style secret? Oh, just be comfortable. It's not even, it's like quite obvious, be comfortable. Yeah. Because there's nothing worse like I'm, you know, recording in there today. And, you know, I want to be comfortable when I'm sitting down and I'm moving around. And the last thing you want to be thinking about is, you don't want to ruin a good night with bad clothes. Yes. I, I've done that before. I've gone to a wedding and worn a corset where I can't enjoy my meal. Or something that you know that you can't move in, you can't dance in. And you're self-conscious. And it's not about what other people think, it's about how you feel. Uh, and one of the things I always try to say is, you know, when you're trying to dress for something, it's like, how do you want to feel? Let's talk, because you've recently designed a collection. Yes, Love and Roses. Mm -hmm. And you can see the colour and the print are all in there. And, Yellow. And the tailors, tailoring. And the tailoring, and yeah. the leopard print. And the leopard print. Absolutely but, gorgeous. I love a, I love prints, and it's like, I love doing different things with leopard prints. So not everything in my wardrobe is Pat Butcher, that it has a little bit of something else in there too. It's um, fun, it's colourful. Yeah. Summer little yeah. pieces. Was it important for you to like put your stamp and, and kind of like bring out something that was a little bit you? Yeah, and I was like, if it's not yellow, I don't want to know. Because I, I'm lucky, I've been approached by lots of brands in the past, um, and it's kind of finding the right fit, because I think, people will know if it's not if you're selling something that's not you mm. and I also just want to have clothes that like I want that, that you can mine yeah. yeah so I'm going to design or work with designers that I go can I get this in yellow can I do this printer is it possible to do this even with the suits like the linen suits can we still have like the shoulder padded and still have that kind of shape? structure yeah yeah no it's beautiful Joanne Hines she oh okay. another Irish, Irish designer yeah I wore this um, that's one of her archive pieces what does it say on it um oh it said she didn't lick it off it isn't licked off 
the stones. Yeah. yeah. Laura, thank you so much. For Courtney, thank pleasure. you so much for coming in. We're a busy lady and you've got a show to do, so yes. I'll hit the road. Okay, I will. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank Safe you so home. much. Bye.